Welcome to TCalivision, a video podcast helping busy administrators get the most from technology. I'm your host, Jason Porgy, Program Coordinator of the TCal Project. On this episode of TCalivision, you'll hear from several stakeholders at Los Arbolos Elementary School in Franklin McKinley School District and Campbell Middle School in Campbell Union School District. These schools have implemented the Mouse Squad, a program providing students with technical and leadership skills to help leverage technology support. In this first part of two, you will find out how the program engages students and ultimately makes a positive impact on school culture, which is supported through effective communication between the district's IT staff and the site-based curriculum team. found out about MOUSE, which is headquartered out of New York City, and that actually stands for Making Opportunities for Upgrading Schools and Education. We help students learn not only the technology concepts, but how to work in teams, how to troubleshoot, how to communicate, and really be of service and leaders at their schools. The idea is that they set up a student help desk at the school, especially at the middle and high school level, and do the troubleshooting for the teachers, the administrators, and anybody else, and sometimes they actually take those skills home with them. My mom actually was excited because she said, okay, you're going to go learn stuff, and you're going to help me with my stuff. <laughs> my mom, she was like, so now you're just going to fix everything, so that we got like a new VCR, we, we got all this new stuff, and she's like, okay, so since you're in Mouse Squad, you can, hit this, you can hook it up for us. It's really done a lot for not only the students that are in the program, but the rest of the students at the school because they see what a difference these kids can make, and they're kids just like them. We depend on them. <laughs> We've actually made them very important people. Um, we make sure that we call on them for a lot of different activities. Go in the classroom and they just have no idea what's going on and you're able to fix it in like one minute and they're just like, wow, that's awesome. Teachers who have been here for a while know that we're here to help them. Right. Yeah, I mean, most teachers are happy that we're coming in to fix their computer. It's a lot better than having somebody from the district, you know, come over. I mean, it takes like a matter of weeks. From the district perspective, there's always going to be work to be done as, uh, as far as maintaining and supporting and, you know, assisting. And, you know, as dollars in the, the schools are you know, cut short and continue to be cut short, you know, it's uh, very difficult to fund a lot of the, the support necessary and the training necessary. The Mouse Squad students you know, definitely provide you know, the ability and you know more resources to to keep machines running and keep things going for you know our school sites. A group of students that are very comfortable around adults, they're very comfortable around other students, and willing to step up and say, "I can handle this." Mm -hmm. She's given them a great deal of confidence, and that's been a direct result of Mouse. You also get to meet more teachers, and. You know, at a middle school or high school, you don't meet as many teachers because you don't have <coughs> you don't have them for your classes. I also feel very important when I walk into the classroom with my tech shirt and my mouse squad badge, and I'm like, I'm here to fix your TV, and the teacher has no idea what's going on with their TV, and you're just able to do that. I like that feeling. You no, know, like, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I think that every school has students that I like to refer to as kind of outliers. There are students that excel in a lot of different areas, but don't necessarily fit the typical niche of a typical classroom student. Some of them may think we're, you know, like dorks and stuff, and then we save their, you know, five-page PowerPoint from being lost, and then, you know, they kind of appreciate us a little bit more. <laughs> this is definitely true. Extraordinary leadership skills. They have good troubleshooting. You can tell that they think outside the box a little bit and they all seem to have an interest in technology. It might not be the same kind of interest in technology, but they're interested in tinkering with technology. So this program gives them an opportunity to bring all of those characteristics together. I would say ownership by the students. I would say it's been a huge community builder, and I would say it's empowered many other students on school because they've seen students that they've known since they were very young step up and become a child who is now a student who is respected by other adults on campus and assists and works alongside those adults. Mm -hmm. And I think for a child to see someone change and evolve that way lets them begin to believe maybe they have that potential too. I think that's a wonderful thing that Mouse Squad, it's a side effect of Mouse Squad that really benefits my school a great deal. This is one of the highlights of my day actually, coming in here and just knowing that I can be myself in here. A lot of other times, you know, if you were to go in there and 
use all kinds of tech talk, people will just kind of make funny. I an incentive to come to school because I have a first period, so it's like, <laughs> yes. Show up on time. Show up on time, you get tech. <laughs> Your will shift in these students, and I've seen an impressive increase in all of their academic scores. You'll like this class because you get a chance to teach other people, and it's really cool because you feel like I know something that, I, that someone else doesn't, and I get to share that with them, and I think that's really cool. The students have to go to the classroom teacher and say, my job is to teach you something you don't know how to do. What would you like to learn? One thing that I do think that the program is doing a very good job in this class, um, especially is you know, modeling some more of the 21st century skills and you know, looking at you know, the learning process in different ways communication that goes back and forth between um, the district office um, IT team, the principal, and the, the teacher involved in running the program. Um, the, you know, I think that the, the three people involved in this situation, we all have a very good relationship. It's very much a two-way conversation. It's never a, a top-down decision from the district office to us. It's always two-way. Talk about issues as they arise um, so that you know, everybody's kind of on the same page of what it looks like. They feel that Mouse Squad and all of the technology that we have here is a huge part of our support system. And they know that if our support system isn't functioning at its maximum capability, then we can't function at our maximum capability. And I like the support of, I'll help you evaluate everything, but also the handoff, but it's your school and you know what works best for your kids. Bringing it here to California, we started out with five middle schools in Silicon Valley and we're now statewide with 75 schools, not only at the middle school level but also up into the high school and even down in the elementary. In the program after school, we're an elementary school, uh, so our students that are participating are grades four, five, and six. Uh, so they're a little younger than most of the mouse squad uh, people were used to having. Mostly this is a program for middle schools and high schools, but uh, we felt that it would be welcomed at our school and the children were very capable. I would term almost at risk. Uh, they were, they're, um, they, they have behaviors that, you know, you can see there's impulsiveness there and that, that was kind of, that, but the impulsiveness gets them in trouble. They, they were not necessarily feeling so positive about school. I like helping the teachers figure out problems. It actually makes me feel happier than I usually am. It seems to be the payoff seems to be the purpose of education seems to have really come alive for them. Their grades went up. Parents are happy with me because I've actually learned more and it's actually helped improve better on my grades in math and science. The kids feel empowered. They feel uh, it's built their confidence. They are so proud of their skills and uh, what they can do on the computer. It helps to build the morale and the school spirit and makes them want to be at school. It gives them another reason to be at school and something they can be successful at. What I've seen is not just that these students become more technical, just the confidence that I see between the beginning of the year and the end of the year. It's just amazing. They become more articulate seem to uh, really get a lot of confidence and, and it seems to help in a, a lot of subtle ways uh, the, the social skills that they gain by and the confidence of talking to adults talking to others and uh, getting that affirmation from from adults that say wow you know how to fix that and and it just it gives them a it gives them a lot of good hands-on experience my students will tell you, you know, they want to be an engineer now or they want to go into computer science and they want to continue with computer education as they move up into middle school and high school. And it's kind of, I think they have a future in this field and I would like to see kids think, wow, that, I'm good at computers, I like helping people, I'm, this is a field that I would uh, be able to get a job and, you know, go to college. In the after school mouse guard class to learn enough technology skill to be able to run basic troubleshooting and and to fix computer problems, and, and it's, they seem to be able to do this really fast. These, uh, the, the children seem to take to it very well. The technicians, the uh, computer technicians that we have, do appreciate that because they can focus more on the, their higher end skill sets and also allowing the younger students to develop the this, this skill sets to get to where they are. They are very supportive. In fact, we just hooked up a virtual lab that they came out and did for us, which was a priority for them. I spoke with Carla Hackma, I spoke with JR, and uh, they, kind of, they did the, the explanation of what was happening, what the intent was, and uh, sounded great. We saw that there was a real structure to this, 
uh, that it kind of eased some of the tension. And it has definitely been beneficial. Now that I've joined Mount Squad, I've known him last year, but I barely, like, I always, like, forgot his name. An empowerment to the students to be able to set them into uh, a role of leadership and, uh, and gaining their self-esteem and exposing them into a future, you know, job market. They've got something they can really they can really do something with, mm -hmm. and, it, and it seems like it really hooks them. It gets them in. It makes them feel like their future guys. is promising. You are just watching students, teachers, principals, and directors of technology share how the Mouse Squad has changed their schools and districts for the better. Now the TCAL connection. To follow up on the ideas shared, there are several resources on the TCAL website you might want to look at. First. Take a look at the California Mouse Squad website for resources and to find out how to implement the program in your school. Generation Yes is another program you may want to look into that builds students' leadership and technology capacity in the 21st century. Lastly, TechSets, a statewide educational technology service project in California, assists IT professionals in locating quality resources. Take a look at their student tech resource area for videos, research, tutorials, and more as the IT and site relationship is essential. Stay tuned for the second part of Students as Technicians to find out the variety of tasks these students take on both during and beyond the school day. To quickly find these and other technology leadership resources, visit our website, portacal.org, and click on Video Podcasts. And that's your TCAL connection. TCALivision, educational insights brought to you by leaders, for leaders, www.portacal.org slash TV. From TCalivision, see you on the next episode.